the 10 to 4, uh, typically the time for rest. And the uh, thing that I remember the most was an incident of Swami calling the boy who was the other brother who was in charge of uh, the room at that point of time. Uh, see that, that that chair in the bathroom, it's squeaky. When I sit and you know and turn it, it, it squeaks. Uh, put some oil on this, you know, and do that. The reason he's doing that is because you know, we would be sleeping, he wouldn't be, and he would be inside the in the bathroom in that squeaky chair. And when it turns, it squeaks, and he's worried that it'll disturb us, right? And he says that put some oil. You know, the reason I'm bringing up this up is that the next question that I'm going to ask is, what do you think you will have? What if you go to Swami's bathroom and open the cabinet? There's a huge wooden cabinet in uh, Swami's bathroom. And if you open the drawers, what do you think you'll find? Books. Handwritten books. There were like, you know, dozens of handwritten books, right, in, in, in the bathroom of Swami. And one of these days, when I was seated and Swami asked me, uh, what are you reading these days? And I said that, Swami, I'm reading Bhagavata Vahini. And, uh, and uh, Swami said, Kasturi would come and stand this way. And, you know, at, at the beginning of the month, he would come and stand this way. You know, afraid to ask, you know, hold Swami accountable for his deliverables, right, of, of the next issue of the, of the Vahini, right, because he, he is in charge of the, of the Sanatan Sarpi. He would come and stand this way. I would say, and Swami would say that Ratri, without switching on the light, with a torch, he would sit inside the bathroom and write the Vahinis because he was worried that if he switches on the light in the old Mandir, the 10 to 1, the 10 to 4 period, that, that perhaps, if he switches on the light, devotees outside would think that Swami has already woken up and they would get up and go. I didn't want to disturb them. I would sit in the bathroom and write. Right? And uh, you know, this was probably in the 60s and the 70s. And uh, that habit was there even in the 2000s that I saw him you know, sitting. Probably he wasn't writing at that point of time, but he would spend time just waiting for the world to wake up again to receive him. And that's the memory of, of a 24 hour living with Swami. There is a lot to reflect, dear brothers and sisters. Allow it to marinate, allow it to you know, go deep into you. Let it pull out prahar by prahar. Think, discuss about it. Think about it. Relive those moments with Swami.